Hey everyone, this is Dream Sword, and right off the bat, I'm just gonna say you're gonna see two kind of awkward cutaways due to me getting interrupted like twice. Like right there's one, and then you're gonna see another one a little bit later. But uh, hat. Introduce yourselves. My guest. I'm Nico. I'm Ryan. I'm an asshole. Yeah, you are. I'm just kind of here. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Sandy bear got killer. annihilated. <laughs> yeah, that's because he's under level. But, uh, would... How could you do that to Senny? Basically, even though this fight's gonna make the bear killer look like tough shit, he's really not. He's pretty much the same as the other bonus bosses, Sans the Gold Knight. And really the only reason he looks so tough is because Reed and Luke had learned all of their arts. So I stopped leveling them and I put Archie and Senna on my party instead. And those two are really under level. So I went to an EX dungeon, and I didn't expect to, but I ran into the bear killer, so I was like, you know what, why not? So you're just gonna kinda see me dope around trying to not die from this thing, more than anything. That's not very and, hard, though, since he's slow as balls. And really, the only thing that makes this guy even remotely threatening is the fact that he can't really stagger. So, yeah. And then there's the other cutaway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, Nico, considering that the last time you were with us, that video was rather short, is there anything you wanted to say last time that you couldn't, that you would like to say this time? I don't know what I would like to say. Not now. I, I, I would like to say that Senny is getting his ass kicked. <laughs> Way too much. He doesn't yeah. deserve that. No way. Nobody He's... deserves that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the problem with the uh, Tails characters in Radiant 1... One, they don't scale with your level, which is a problem fixed in later games, thankfully. Two, their stats are all preset, which is actually pretty bad for the most part, because they kind of just delegate it to the lowest common denominator, and which results in low HP and MP and whatnot, unless you overlevel them. And, you know, the whole recruiting system being a bitch and a half to actually get working. This is why the Bearer of Love title is probably your most useful one, because it at least lessens the annoyance a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah, I never got that. How, how does actually uh, getting people to work with you here work? They just, they just Base decide to join you, or...? Uh, there's, th there's three different factors. One, how famous you are. Basically, if you don't have enough fame points, characters will be like, why the hell should I join you? And then they'll ignore you, which is great. But speaking of which, that's what makes Kratos not really worth it. Because you need really high fame to get him to join you, and when you finally do, you're like twice his level. So, why would you bother? And another factor is, if they currently have a quest that they want you to do, they won't join you. At all. So you have to constantly refresh the quest list until they're not offering work, and then they'll join your party. Besides the quest one, in both the English and the Japanese version, I never had any trouble with the uh, Tails characters joining me. Ryan, you barely recruited any Tails characters anyway. That's not true. It, 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 he's but, limping. Yeah, he is. He's gonna die soon. But... Yeah, it's really an annoying system, so that's why most of the time you want to just spend your quest time just doing stuff like deliver this item or go harvest a log or something like that just to get all that out of the way and that's also a good way to get a grade too what are you harvesting a log for I, what is I, in a log that is so valuable I, to you can turn into a pickaxe i think or a hatchet no the log literally doesn't have any use it's really it's like if i remember right literally all it's for is for an NPC for no reason just wants logs, so you go and get logs for them. What was what the hell was the thing that was combined with metal to make a pickaxe? Oh god, well, I know. Maybe that was mythology too. Yeah, that was probably mythology too. In this game, you have to combine like bronze or iron or something, and then something else. I forget what. No way. Or you probably can just buy them. There's that too. Yeah, that was awesome. Buying is nice. <laughs> Why does your character look like Captain Crunch? <laughs> that would be because I'm currently wearing the Radiant set for the Bishop. For those who don't know what the Radiant sets are, they are what the game claims are the ultimate armor, but they're really not. Because, while they're good, a lot of equipment, even on normal mode, 
is actually better, especially since you can upgrade equipment. Generic equipment at that. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but we'll talk about this later, but certain en enemies in the EX dungeons will actually drop unique equips that are way better than anything you can get, for the most part. So, so it's really just sort of a quest thing. In story, it's like big shit, but in practice, it's like maybe in third place. So, if nothing else, if nothing else, though, you get some use from useful titles from doing those quests. In fact, the uh, Magic Knight one is one of the best titles in the game because it makes you immune to stagger for one or two hits during a combo. Which, while that doesn't sound like much, is actually very useful. This will just take a second. So, were you gonna say something? No, not three. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so I pretty much just am toting the Radiant Sense leveling up other characters just to show it off, you know? Question? What? Why aren't you meleeing? Because I'm playing as Sennel. Sennel doesn't melee? Yes. And I, and I know you're trying to be a smartass, okay? Because I know the original intent of your question is, why aren't I playing as the bishop and hitting them with a candlestick? That's not yeah, original. because that was great! This will just take a second. Oh god. Does actually uh, th does the candlestick actually uh, have fire element on it? Nope. Oh. It's just a candlestick. <laughs> well, non elements the best for melee priest. It's not a priest though; it's a bishop. <laughs> upgraded priest, whatever. It's not even upgraded priest. It's like a weird a hybrid. <laughs> upgraded, whatever. But, yeah. It's so yeah, literally. It's just me running around leveling these guys up because I have nothing better to do. And also, speaking of which, getting magic maps is a total bitch. Because for those of you who don't know, to access the Sorry, EX dungeons, you have to get a rare drop called a magic map. And to get a magic map, it's completely randomly generated by any item, by item, any enemy in the dungeon associated with it. So, like, even if you fight, like, say, Stan, he could drop a magic map, although not likely. But that's weird. You'd think he'd have a higher chance. Yeah, no, it's the exact same percent for everybody, and there's actually no way to even get it. Because, like, cause, like, I even looked up cheats online just to, like, save time. Nah, there's no get magic map cheat. Like, even if you get always get rare item, it doesn't work. <laughs> so, so, yeah, good luck farming enemies endlessly, and in fact, it's a luck-based mission because sometimes the dungeon will just decide, okay, no magic maps this time, so you're going to be killing enemies over and over wondering why nothing's happening. I'm glad I didn't care. <laughs> and in fact, I didn't have played this game. This will just take a second. And and the EX dungeon's the only way to get the best equipment in the game. So if you're a completionist like I am, it's torture. But I won't be doing that this run through because fuck that, that's going to take forever. You say completionist, I say obsessive. <laughs> well, if you'll do it if you like, favorite and subscribe. <laughs> no. <laughs> even then. No, don't like or favorite or subscribe. And then he'll do it. <laughs> Why not? Actually, unsubscribe, and then he'll do it. <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> oh, but you invited us. Wow, did you really just tell all your subscribers to fuck themselves? No, I told you guys to fuck yourselves. Sorry. Wow, they really should unsubscribe now. I don't really feel like it right now. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm just not feeling it anymore. Come on. Never feeling it. By the way, I think you guys are going to get a kick out of the Priest Radiant set when I finally show up, because it's the most dopey-looking one out of all of them. You don't like dopey I think you mean awesome. No, it, it it's completely lame. I I'm think you lie. mean awesome. No, it, it's it's really what nothing right what, what kind of hat does it have? Take a generic guess. Is it a pirate hat? No, it's, it's not a pirate duck. hat. No, it's not a duck, either. Is it a yarmulke? Oh, a yarmulke sounds awesome! No, way. no, it's not. I took a guess, okay? <laughs> I know. It's a top hat. Uh, you're technically not wrong. It's a reverse mohawk. No! You're absolutely wrong. <laughs> yeah. Damn! Fedora? It's not a fedora. I don't think there are any fedoras. In Is it a pilgrim's hat? Technically. A microwave? A yes, Ryan, it's a microwave. Oh my god, it's Microwave Man from The Ultimate Teacher. Screw it, I'm killing this video.